Are you unsure where to buy your next buy to let property? In this video, I detail five locations that I believe are strongly suited to buy to let property. We discuss why they're performing so well now and also why they may perform well in the future. Now, make sure you watch this video all the way through to the very end because the last location is an absolute hidden gem. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Marco. I'm a portfolio landlord, property investor, developer, and mentor. And I love investing in residential property and helping those invest in residential property too. Before we get into this video, I'd meant to film some of this video in the aircraft. However, it's a cloudy, overcast day and certainly not one that's much fun to fly in. So I'll be taking you along, fingers crossed, in the very next video on a flight and we're going to be answering some questions in the cockpit. So for my regular viewers and those who have been watching the channel for a while, you'll know that last year I did a similar video, the top five locations for buy to let property, which performed very well and we had some amazing comments and people actually saying they bought properties in these areas and it's worked out really well for them. However, of this video, of the five locations that I'm talking about in this video, only two of the original five remain. Now, the other three locations are still performing very well. However, I want to give you a few more locations to think about, to explore. So without further ado, let's get into the number one location. Now, this is not going to be a surprise for anyone who watches my channel. And yes, I may be somewhat biased with this location, but please do bear with me. Of course, it's Leeds. However, I put my money where my mouth is. I invest heavily into leads. So I'm not just saying buying leads, I do it personally myself and it's been very kind to me over the years. In fact, so much so that I'm so grateful for actually being raised in Leeds in a city that has such an amazing balance between a decent yield and good solid capital growth. If I was raised somewhere else in the country, maybe I wouldn't have been so fortunate. So let me just tell you a little bit about Leeds for those that aren't too familiar with it. Leeds has come on leaps and bounds, even in only my short lifespan to date. You know, I remember going to university and coming back and the whole city had completely changed, in, you know, in literally only five or ten years. So what I'm trying to say is, it's a city that's undergoing change and very, very good change, very positive change. You see a lot of the huge employers are now based in Leeds. And this is the continuing theme. A lot of companies that maybe are located down south are relocating up into Leeds. It costs less to run a business based in Leeds than it does in London. So Leeds has really ambitious plans for the future. I often go to the Chamber of Commerce meetings and especially the property one. And it's interesting to see the plans that Leeds has going forward. They're absolutely incredible. And if these plans are materialized, it has the potential to knock off Manchester as the Northern powerhouse. More on that later. I'm gonna turn on my pilot hat now. Let's separate Leeds into North, South, east and west. So first of all, let's discount a few areas. It's very difficult to buy buy select property in the north of Leeds. The north of Leeds is the more affluent area of Leeds and therefore it's difficult to make yields work. So let's cross that off. Then we've got the east. The east is not as expensive as the north, but again, it's somewhat difficult to make buy to let work. It's possible, it just relies on a heavy discount. Then that gives us the two other locations, the west and the south. So in this area, is where a large number of the buy to let properties are in Leeds. In the particular Southwest, I really love, and I've had huge success investing in the Southwest of Leeds. So if you're looking to buy buy to let property in Leeds and you don't know it too well, there you go. You've kind of got that corridor between the West and the South, explore it and have a think about it. And the number one reason why Leeds is so incredible, and I've already mentioned this, is it has such an amazing blend between a good solid high yield and great capital appreciation. And that's what makes the city so attractive. Now, before we move on to the second location, if you are looking to buy in and around Leeds, especially West Yorkshire, which Leeds sits in, and you want to be handed great below market value property deals, then if you haven't already signed up to our email list, please do so. I urge you to do so. It's completely free and everyone on the email list gets first access to the opportunities that we come across. So the link is in the description. Um, sign up and you'll see that we'll post a below market value deal very often, normally a couple of times per month. And if you're interested, there's a number to call and to jump and pounce on that straight away. The great Great deals are normally sold in the first few hours, so please do consider signing up to the email list. Now let's come on to the second hotspot, and that is Greater Manchester. Now Greater Manchester is a huge area, you know, if you draw the circle around Greater Manchester, it's a massive area, but the Manchester is the northern powerhouse. I'm sorry to upset, you know, the, the Leeds supporters who are watching these videos and those who think very highly of Leeds, 
But Manchester is the number one city in the north of the UK. We've got to face that fact. And because of this, you've seen an uncontrolled growth, really, from the centre of Manchester outwards. And you now have something called Greater Manchester that encompasses all the towns and villages that surround the city centre. So if you look at this growth, you know, over the past few decades, it's absolutely outstanding. You know, if you look at the companies that are based in Manchester, you know, they are second to none. There are a lot of very world-class companies based at Manchester. And because of that, a lot of people want to live there. Now, people don't necessarily want to live in the city centre themselves. Itself, they're willing to go a bit further afield and commute inwards. And that's why Greater Manchester is so powerful and such a great place, in my opinion, to invest in. Now, when it comes to yield and capital appreciation, it's, there's a slight difference here. You tend to get a slightly lower yield in Greater Manchester than in Leeds. Don't get me wrong, it's not always the case. There are different areas in Greater Manchester. But Greater Manchester has been typically a bit kinder than Leeds in terms of capital appreciation. So the values of those properties in Manchester over the past decade have increased hugely and as Manchester grows as a city so does Greater Manchester. The towns and cities on the, on the fringes get swallowed up into Greater Manchester. Property prices increase just because people want to live there to commute into Manchester. Now with Manchester it's the opposite to Leeds in terms of locations. Discount the south because the south is very expensive. It's the more affluent area of Manchester. But you know, we can look around the north, the east and the west to find very good opportunities. And as Manchester continues to expand, surely it's a safe bet. Surely it's going to be a great investment buying anywhere in Greater Manchester, providing it's got solid fundamentals, you know, providing it's got great employers, good schools in the area, low crime rate, a high percentage of only occupiers and things of that nature. Right, so we've discussed two of the locations so far and these could seem quite obvious locations. I mean, they, they really are. And these two locations were referenced in my prior video last year. And I'm a strong believer in both Leeds and Greater Manchester. They're going to be great places to invest over the coming decades. However, let's get on to the remaining three locations. All these are new locations with the last one being an absolute hidden gem. The third area I'd like to discuss with you is Sheffield. Sheffield is in South Yorkshire. Now firstly there are absolutely great fantastic employers in Sheffield and therefore there are lots of people that want to live in that area. So not only is there great tenant demand but people want to own properties in that area too. And if we look at this long-term trend in Sheffield property values have increased nicely over the decades. Don't get me wrong it hasn't been as generous as some of the locations but it's certainly been a very nice increase. Now the reason why Sheffield has made it number three on the list is because of two reasons. Firstly, property prices in Sheffield tend to be on the lower side when comparing to say Leeds and Greater Manchester, or well, especially Leeds, which is just up the road. Now, as property prices are lower, first of all, that's great for people that want to purchase properties at lower price points. Maybe you only have say a, a 30,000 pounds deposit and maybe you can use that, that money best in Sheffield than say in Greater Manchester. You know, in Greater Manchester, it may cost you a little bit more to get a buy to let. However, the knock-on benefit of this is because property prices are slightly lower in Sheffield, the yields actually are fairly good because the rent that Sheffield properties are demanding aren't that much lower than say Leeds, for example. So you're getting nice high yielding properties in Sheffield at really good price points. Yes, maybe the capital growth isn't going to be what maybe say Greater Manchester or Leeds could be in the coming decades. I could be completely wrong by the way, but you're still gonna get a really good short-term return on your cash, really good short-term rental profits. So number four on the list, the penultimate location is Nottingham. This may surprise people watching the channel. Now the reason why Nottingham has made it number four is because, well, a few reasons. Firstly in Nottingham, the yields are actually fairly good to say how far south the property is. Now, I know how crazy that's going to sound for anyone living in London or the South because Nottingham is considered the North to you, but the yields are very good to where Not Nottingham is located. And the second point that follows on very nicely is if you are an investor down South, you live in or around London and you want to manage the property yourself, I think Nottingham's a really good halfway point because you can get up to Nottingham in a couple of hours fairly easily, turn around the property and come back. And it's not like you're spending eight hours on the road. Whereas if you're buying say in Newcastle and you live in London and you want to manage it yourself, that's a full 10 hours plus of driving. So what I'm trying to say is if you want to self-manage and, and you're adamant on self-managing, you could quite easily buy a property in Nottingham and manage it yourself and do it all within the day. Now don't get me wrong, there are some no-go areas of Nottingham, some areas that you definitely don't want to be investing in. Therefore, it's really important to go do your research and actually have a look at the area. Before you buy in the area, just have a drive-by, book a few viewings, see what you think. Would you be happy to rent that property yourself if you were a tenant? Put yourself in your potential tenant's shoes. Now, before we get into the last and the fifth location, which has been absolutely incredible for some of my clients, let me briefly just tell you very 
very bit about my buy select property coaching service. If you are looking to invest in buy select property and you don't know where to start, or maybe you've got a couple and you're looking to take it to that next level, please do book a call with me. I'd absolutely love to help. The link is in the description. Enough there. So let's come on to the fifth location. The fifth location is Stoke-on-Trent. Now, some of you may never have heard of Stoke-on-Trent. I actually lived there for six months. As part of my FTSE 100 job, I moved around the country and one of my rotations was a six month placement in Stoke-on-Trent. So I actually know it a little bit more than the average Joe. Now, Stoke-on-Trent is somewhat similar to Greater Manchester in the sense that it's essentially a collection of towns and cities kind of put together and labeled Stoke-on-Trent. There's a, a ring road that runs around the outside of Stoke. I think it's the A500, I can't quite remember. So there are a handful of really good towns within Stoke-on-Trent. And again, there's some great areas. There are some not so good areas. But the amazing thing I like about Stoke-on-Trent, and I still, to be honest, haven't really worked this out yet, is the purchase prices are still very low on Stoke-on-Trent. You know, it's a great area. It's an area that's fairly accessible to a lot of people in the UK, especially those either living in the South or the West. But prices are low and rents are still fairly decent. As a result, because the prices are low and the rents are fairly decent, you get a very strong yield in Stoke-on-Trent. So you can be buying properties at very low price points and renting them out at very attractive yields. The Stoke-on-Trent local property investors must absolutely love investing in their own area. It seems like out-of-town investors haven't discovered the benefits of Stoke-on-Trent. So to summarise, we've discussed five locations. Leeds, Greater Manchester, Sheffield, Nottingham and Stoke-on-Trent. And if you haven't signed up to the email list, please consider doing so to get, to get really good below market value property deals straight to your inbox. I hope you've got value from this video, but do you have a question? As you know, I respond to all questions personally, so please do comment below and I'll get back to you. If you haven't already watched last year's video, which actually is still relevant and still applicable, please do consider watching it. I'll put it somewhere popping up on the video right now so you can click on it and watch it. And aside from that, I wish you all the very best with your property investing week. Goodbye.